Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. How's everybody doing? No one's probably seen me this uh, trimmed up before, <laughs> but uh, cheers. Good morning to uh, Tommy, Randy, Logan, Jamie. How you doing? Going greys. Um, and Daniel, how you doing? Hmm. Uh, so where where do we sit? Let's see. Um, I have to do. I think after this, I'll do part eight, <laughs> and we'll see how how many more parts there are. Um, <laughs> thanks, Randy. Uh, the finally got the um, the solar man uh, to show up yesterday for two hours, and we finished the inside of the trailer, mounted the um, battery um, information center. I don't know what you call it. Uh, anyway, it gives me all the information on how many amp hours I have left, how much um, solar is coming in and charging and discharging. It's it's awesome deal. I have the, I'll show you real quick for a couple of people that are maybe interested in it because it's really reasonable. I should have done a video on it. <laughs> you know, I'm not like the world's worst blogger, but this is the information that's going to be blank here and trying to load a. Uh, um, trying to load something. Is that halfway clear? So it gives you, uh, it gives you what, uh, the voltage, the amp, the amps that it's using, the watts that it's using. It lets you down here know whether it's, uh, discharging or charging and how many watts it's charging with, the percentage of the battery, how long, uh, if you stay at that rate of, let's say, I don't know, 10 amps or whatever, or 200 watts or whatever, it'll last you 14 hours and 15 minutes. So it gives you basically all the information like those, those little uh, the little battery deals do. And it's um, it's pretty awesome. So he, he uh, his grandmother had passed away and he had a lot of stuff. He's supposed to come today. If he doesn't come today, tomorrow morning, I'm going to have the girls help me uh, finish, <clears throat> excuse me, finish the uh, winch. And load up the 125 on there. I'm, I'm going to have to make the wires longer. The little controller that I got him, he said that's also going to need a relay because it's not a four wire. Um, so I'm just going to use the ugly yellow one that they have. And um, I bought him a plug for it, a watertight plug. Uh, but for right now, I'll add the wire to it. Needs to be made longer. And uh, try it. You know, push the button and see it. How you doing, Benji? I haven't seen you in a while. Hope you're well. Um, hey, Ralph. No, work on double time with the bastards. They actually work. They want you to work. Hey, Ted, how you doing? Um, so uh, we'll see how it how it loads up. I feel better with the two girls there. It shouldn't be a problem. Uh, it should be easy. We'll see, and then I'll see if I'm gonna. See, like I said, it's. It comes from the side. This side has the uh, uh, the wench and everything on it, so it's really heavy now. It used to, when you pull the pin down here, it would just flop down, and you drive the bike up on it, and it would uh, it would do that or push the bike, whatever you do. Um, but what it is now, it's so heavy, you have to like push it down. So, but what I'm thinking I can do is get it down on the ground and roll the front wheel on here, okay, and then I'll have the uh, the controller in my hand, and then I'll just walk it up, and it should work. So we'll we'll see. And then once I get that, we drove to one um, campground that was about an hour from here, still in Serin. I don't really particularly like it, but <laughs> you'll get a kick out of this. the 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 people that don't like uh, paying extra because they're foreigners will would go absolutely ape shit. Uh, but it's um, four hundred dollars a night. But it, the the sites up there have uh, um, electricity and water. So you could actually plug in and it'll run your air conditioner. <laughs> it's run by the government. And, uh, but it is 30 baht, which is how much is 30 baht? Anybody know? 30 baht, a dollar, a dollar for, um, a dollar for, uh, Thai people and, uh, for, uh, foreigners. Anybody want to guess? Not any people that, that think they can uh, guess how much. I'll give you a couple seconds. It's almost like a game show, right? <laughs> Shit. 
But uh, hey, James, how you doing? Um, everybody's saying hello to each other. Awesome. Um, uh, uh, okay, no one wants to guess. Tommy, you should guess. You know. it, I don't care. I mean, like I, I told my wife, I said, you know, uh, if you come and try to fish, and, and Ted, if he's still here, will know. Um, you know, if uh, Logan's, Logan and Jamie are close, uh, 400 baht. For uh, 400 baht per foreigner. So it's just as much as one night there. So basically, to stay a night, it's like 11, 1100, 1100 baht or something, which is okay. I mean, just because it's so close, an hour and we're there. And it's kind of up in the mountain overlooking Cambodia, actually. Uh, but there's no water there. No, no, the, the one in Sisaket that I showed you guys before has canoeing and all that. That's where we're going to probably go. Um, and I'm hoping that if he shows up today, even if he doesn't, I'll do it and finish up the back rack and, uh, have the girls help me, uh, get everything out of here and into the trailer and ready to go. And then we'll probably go, uh, Saturday morning, just for Saturday night, uh, with my wife, or maybe I'll take the kids up, uh, maybe Thursday afternoon and we'll spend Thursday night. And then maybe Nit and I can just drive up after, uh, have to work in her car because it's only an hour and a half and um and then we'll spend friday night saturday night and then come home in two vehicles it's not that big a deal tommy was at five yeah 483 cents okay thanks um yeah 400 bot um but you know i, I some of the people uh the 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 crazy people <laughs> as far as i'm concerned because like i said i was i, was, I went off on a tangent again because ted is in the Fishing and hunting and all that kind of stuff. If if I'm in the, the great state of California, it costs me like ninety dollars for all the fishing garb, two poles, uh, everything I get. Anybody coming from out of state, just from another state, forget about another country. It uh, it's a lot of money. I don't know what it is, but if hunting the same way. Uh, if you have to get tags, if you're if you're hunting, same thing. Uh, enormous difference. But anyway, um, hey Andy. Traveling home, you're home. Ah, very good. So you made it. Good to hear, Andy. And it was great meeting you. And I'll, we'll we'll see each other again. So, hopefully, uh, I'd like to do that because then me and the kids can get out there. They can help me get everything organized for the first time, set up because I I want to make sure that I've got everything there so that I can. Uh, I want to be able to feel comfortable doing it myself. And I said before I was going to, I feel good. It's still, I don't know. I, I didn't go to the doctor, <laughs> but uh, uh, I, I think I'm fine. But um, it would be nice to get out there. Then they can, you know, we'll spend one night and uh, they'll have, they'll have a good time. And then my wife can come up Friday, Friday night. We'll see how that works. So we'll, I'll let you guys know. And I'll do a video. I hope. What was the other part of it? Um, then we're getting ready because it's going to come up real quick. What's the date today? Today's the 25th already. So the 13th, I believe it is uh, for what I'm considering Sokron. Uh, the 13th of uh, April, uh, we'll be in uh, Kochang for seven days. So um, hopefully that's going to be interesting because we're going to leave early on the 13th. And last time we did that on the motorcycles with Maui and... Uh, um, everybody, Bobby and Jai and, uh, made that trip there. We got that, we got to the, when did we get to these, we got to the boat at about one o'clock and I think it took off at one thirty, two o'clock. They run like every, almost every half hour. So we, they're going to be coming from Ubon or aunt and her son. Cause my uncle's not coming and uh, they'll take a bus over on the, on twelve. And spend the night, and then we'll get up in two cars. We'll uh, we'll cruise to Kojang. So it ought to be fun, and and hopefully I'll, I'll get a bunch of video on that. It, it should be. It's interesting to me when 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 you um, when you have Thai people that have never experienced anything like what my aunt and my uh, and, and my wife's cousin brother is going to experience. And I wish my uncle would have went. The, the last time when we took my mother and father in law. They were in heaven, you know, there was people that walked through there right off there from fishing and 
my mother-in-law was up in the morning buying fresh crab and everything that they had, you know, uh, went out fishing for that night or early in the morning. And um, my father-in-law was throwing the net, actually caught some fish. Toby was out there with him running around uh, barking and stuff. So uh, it'll be it'll be a kick. And that's like I said, if you look at my old, or even my on my older intro where it shows flying in with the those deals with the with the uh, plunge pool, the jacuzzi, whatever it is on the roof. Uh, that's where we're going, Serenity. Uh, although he did upgrade us to, they built some more. There's the pool and then the beach. And right at the pool, there's a set of uh, villas. I don't know what to call them. And then there's like three or four tiers back. We were in the second tier of the last time. This time they had built some newer ones over to the right that are right on the beach. Um, so we got one of those and then we got one room because we have too many people. So we'll put uh, the girls and um, um, anyway, six of them in there. And then me and my wife will stay in the room or will the kids want to stay over there for a night? They can do whatever they want. You know, it's going to be, it'll be a good time. Hey, Luis, hola. Um, so yeah, it should be a good time. So hopefully we'll get the trailer done. Um, we got like a barrage of, uh, of people wanting and needing stuff for some reason the last week, two weeks. But, uh, like I told you before, uh, as far as, excuse me, I'm still trying to get used to, uh, <laughs> being that short, but, um, so anyway, so we're, like I told you before, I'll do the deal on that, and uh, we'll also uh, we're going to do something for the school in Ubon, and that'll be the, um, what's on the agenda on that front. On the on the house, I'm still trying to. Um, not too late. <laughs> what's up? How you doing, Robbie? Uh, I I. I I can't get this, the, the, how do I put this nicely? I really like the solar man. Okay. And, uh, I know he's got, a, he's, he's in high demand, put it that way. And then his grandmother had passed away and all that, but I get a little cranky after I can't get something done in a month, you know? So, um, I'm not so much sabai sabai as I would like to, what I would like to be. And my wife would like me to be. Um, but uh, we, uh, I got to, I got to make a decision on that because it's still not working correctly. And I know that I'm wasting, not that it's a ton of dough, but money's money, man. I mean, uh, so I, I'm probably, I probably could save at least another 2000 bot a month, although we got the rainy season coming up and I got to also find, I don't know that much about solar, like how often should the solar panels be cleaned and blah, blah, blah. And it would be nice if I could put the drone up and look at them because I can't, climb my fat rear end uh, up there or older and or bad knee, whatever it is. Either way, I, I'm not going to be climbing up on the roof. Um, I did notice that some companies make a thing that cleans it and coats the glass panels uh, so that actually dirt doesn't even really stick to it. Um, and it's supposed to help. So I, I, I'll find out. If somebody knows, uh, hey, Tip, how you doing? Um, let, let, me, uh, let me know. Um, because I, I don't think we're getting enough. Like right now, let's just see early in the morning before nine o'clock. I don't get that much. I get, I get a constant over it. In other words, I, I get, uh, half my panels, 10 of my panels get a bunch of light or, or start getting light already. And they're putting out a good amount of Watts. But, um, as it comes over, I think it's a good setup. I mean, it, it isn't ideal, but it's a good setup. Let's see. And 1,397, but we're using almost 3,000 watts. I got the kids here too, so there's two extra air conditioners that are running up there. Um, and the other one's probably going to be the one that's less. It's only 416 watts, and I'm using 473 watts. So as soon as uh, the sun comes up a little bit more, uh, it'll be pretty much the meter stops all day, and then that's when I... Uh, that's when I run my pool and all that kind of stuff. The ponds, they run all the time. But it just isn't right, you know, and it's driving me 
freaking insane. You know, I want to strangle somebody, but my wife doesn't want to, um, doesn't, wouldn't like me to do that. Uh, also, I want to let you guys know, Goldwyn, that the bot was, according to my program, for the last few days was thirty, almost 36.5, 36.47, something. It dropped one point, well, one and a half, to 36.29. Um, which anything I think in the, I don't know, in the high 35s and, 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 uh, 36 is if you're going to move some money, probably not a, uh, probably not a bad idea to do so. Anyway, that's my, uh, financial <laughs> crap for what, for what it's worth. Anything, you know, I'm not a big person on gambling. Um, the stock market is gambling to me. Uh, the, uh, um, Bitcoin and all that kind of crap, uh, doesn't even interest me. Uh, the only thing that I can see is any kind of precious metals, gold, platinum, and silver, and uh, and that's uh, that's me. Hey, Robert Mack, how you doing? I, I didn't ask that. We're, Logan, you still hear this thing? Thing sound okay or what? Hey, Douglas, how you doing? Um, reco- oh, there it is. So Logan put up something. Uh, recommend every six months to a year, but frequently can change the base. I got to, um, I got to think, I, I'm sure that they're, they haven't been clean since I put them in. I think it's been over six months, but some of the stuff that I did see this coding stuff looked pretty cool. Uh, but I don't know anything about it. Not the reader, the almighty, uh, YouTube or Google to find out what to do. Uh, let's see Randy and flight delayed because what refueling truck broke down, had to wait for another one. Oh, the joy of traveling. It's always nice when you're stuck inside the plane there and the the their plug-in air conditioner uh, on the ground isn't working worth a crap and you're sweating. Uh, been been there before. Um, okay. So anyway, so that so that takes up that. So the hopefully like I said, uh, I'll get out and we'll get out in the trailer maybe Thursday. Um, if so, then I'll probably do a, a live stream from, it's going to be uh, Sisakit, uh, which is an hour and a half. And that was the one, like I said, that I showed you that had the big reservoirs and the free canoes and paddle boards and, you know, fishing. I've got two poles now. I haven't I haven't drowned any kind of a small animal on a hook or uh, or just cheese or rice or I did buy some crap it took forever to come and probably I never opened it up it probably stinks like hell but uh, try that too I, I imagine the reservoir has like catfish and tilapia and stuff like that so we'll see what's happening um everybody's saying hi <laughs> hey Jake what's up Hope you are well. Uh, so, yeah. And so that, and, and if you weren't here earlier, um, Solar Man showed up yesterday, two hours. We finished up the, the display panel and everything for the battery, for all the uh, readout on the batteries. And um, uh, the only thing we have to do is now make longer the, the up and up or in and out on the, on the winch. And, uh, the um how we're gonna get it to hold down um and that's and put a plug on that uh controller so i can just unplug that put it at a designated spot in the camper and uh, and leave it there so uh i'll do that and if he doesn't show up today i'm just gonna go ahead and do it with the kids tomorrow Uh, i'll just have to go to taiwaza to get some wire i need to make it longer make a black casing for it. Maybe I'll buy another plug if they have something there because he has the plug. And then we'll load all the stuff that I have in here and in the house, the coolers and the, uh, uh, all that stuff that you can, um, you know, to get it all ready to go. And we might go, maybe me and the kids will blow out on Thursday afternoon. It's only an hour and a half from the house. And then my wife can just drive the car up after work and spend Friday night and Saturday night. And then we'll come, come home on Sunday. It should be a fun, fun little trip. Uh, we were thinking about, and I might still do that is, uh, with the kids after this is over, take the hour and a half ride out to Sisaket 
and check it all out. Talk to the people, pick a spot. Maybe we can find, well, can we park here? Can we park there? So I'll, find, I'll know exactly where I'm going and, and what it looks like. And, um, I might still do that. And if I do that, that'll probably be the start of the, uh, the video on the, on the camping and, uh, I'll try to do a little better job on, uh, on doing the vlogs. I think I'm getting better. We'll, we'll see. It's in my mind. It look, I, sometimes I do it and sometimes I don't, but I mean, I've got it, it. It's getting better in my mind on what I want, want the uh, end product to look like. Yeah, exactly. Well, I don't really, I don't like doing them. I mean, I, it's so cheap here. It's, it, it's just also, it doesn't, you know, if I was someone like Craig, you know, he, he, he's, uh, he's in good shape you know, a lot better shape than me. And, uh, you know, I just, it, it just kill me to have to get on my knees or to, to do anything to, to do any kind of work. Sort of, if I could find a bike to build, I, I would, uh, I would enjoy doing that, but I just would get me, you know, really awesome stool, you know, to sit on and, and, uh, and, and have it up, up here, a jack for the bike and do whatever I want. I've seen a couple of older ones, but um, I might I might pick up something. My wife will go crazy. I think I am. I was gonna I was gonna sell the the, the uh, Himalaya, then I was gonna keep the Himalaya, and then I, so. I, but I think I'm gonna sell it. So I'm gonna get rid of that. There's no really reason for it. I wrote it the other day, and every time I write something, I go, "Oh, this would be kind of cool for every once in a while." But I'm still trying to get the 750 to work right. Hey, Andrew. Hey, Maui. Um, but I do want to take the, I want to finish the 752. Um, uh, so maybe uh, maybe the beginning of next week, I'll get it back to the guy and have him rejet it. I'm just going to tell him, just rejet everything. Redo the carburetors again. Um, that lean pop, whatever you want to call it, after fire, uh, it, um, it bugs me. I, I'm sure it's not destroying the uh, plugs, but it's like... I got the shit shocked out of me yesterday when I started the bike up because I reached down and I don't know exactly where the key is and the cap isn't on the plug. It, it come out just, you know, I don't know if you've ever been hit with a mag, a magneto or any kind of a coil spark, but it definitely gets your attention. And, um, uh, you know, it's, it, it's just on, why not fix that? And you, I don't know. So I guess I've got to go down there, and I guess I've got to be very specific. On uh, I want, I'm going to ride this thing. I, I I don't want anything half-assed. You know, uh, if I want to do it half-assed, I do it by myself, and take six months to probably do it. But I just don't know enough about these water-cooled things. You know, um, if I I wish I had, if I wasn't such a tightwad, and I had to, I'd buy, I'd just buy a, you know, buy a Harley and be done with it. But We'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. See how frustrated I get. I don't think so. I think the guy, I just think that they're so used to, here's my scooter, here's my bike, do the absolute minimum possible, the least amount that it'll cost me to get it back on the road. You got an old tire? Can you can you put an old tire on there? I think they're used to that. So it's like almost like, um, what do you call it? Um, you, repet you know, a repetition. I don't know the word I'm looking for. But anyway, they just do it, you know. So, um, <laughs> there's wrong. In, I, yeah, but I think Cabo's coming. I think Christmas time. I think because uh, I was uh, talking to my wife too. My wife was kind of bummed that uh, she didn't get to do the same that you were saying, Rob. <laughs> meet meet Cabo. Um, but uh, I think um, I think he's going to come and try to stay for like six months the next time. So we'll and we're going to have another one too. But I've already got people. Um, already talking about because I'd like to have people that couldn't make it this time, you know, like Maui and uh, but Maui is going to be gone for a while, but so is Bobby. And I'm not talking about having them, you know. Let's just do it every month, you know, two, two, three times a year, maybe every four months, five months, something like that, twice a year, six months. Uh, I think it would be kind of cool. It's almost like if you're retired here, uh, it's almost like a uh, retirement vacation, right? <laughs> now I, I would love to be done building shit <laughs> jay <laughs> um, i i'm pretty much done although my wife 
over at the house in Ubon, we got, I, you know, I didn't put any kind of fence or anything around that. Uh, my uncle has cows and so does everybody else down the street, right? Um, and they're, they're coming in on the property to my wife putting all this nice green stuff <laughs> saying to the cows, come freaking eat me, you know? And as it's waving in the wind and um, comes up there and then for some reason, now why they did this, I don't know. And I'm not like Kenny. I wish I could be there all the time. Why would you run any kind of PVC above ground? Except where it comes out and goes to the pump, you know? And and this stuff uh, all around the pump and all this kind of shit and coming up to it and between that, and the tank, it's all above ground. And these cows are getting in there and just, you know, breaking the shit every day. So uh, he wants to put bob wire around. Well, God forbid you buried the shit. So what, I, what I'm going to do is just have him put the wire around there because it's fairly reasonable and then i'm just going to hire somebody you know i'd like to, the solar man to do it he's the one that um uh, plumbed the tanks anyway um and get all that shit put i told them when they were doing it uh, below ground you know stuff ain't the best uv shit in the world right um in fact they should paint anything above ground um but anyway so uh, <laughs> so i'm having a little bit of problem with that but i didn't put any Originally, I wanted to put maybe two posts and a gate, and then maybe a little, you know, six, eight, ten foot long sides, and then just go with the uh, the concrete stort posts with barbed wire, uh, just to keep the animals out. Uh, it's not, you know, it's not going to do anything else, but because uh, I don't want them stomping around. My uncle, I still let him put them in there because I test the water, and the water still has very little ammonia, uh, and that's coming from the buffalo and the cows going in there and you know it's 100 degrees and you know they 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 go up to their neck in the one back corner there and i keep the pond full uh so uh um you know so they you know it isn't affecting but if i had every cow in the freaking neighborhood uh in that pond i'm sure the ammonia level would go way up um Let's see. Let's see if I catch her. Uh oh. Door subject. <laughs> I'm replacing PVC here. No, that was not. Yeah, I don't know why they do it, Douglas. Do you? I mean, I mean, it never been, made any sense to me. I always painted um, any PVC I had because I've always lived on two and a half, five acres. You know, I've always lived on property because I was infatuated with horsewomen back in the day. So, uh, plus, I liked the. I, I never liked being right in an area you know if i was working in the san fernando valley i was living in moore park or or see me or you know someplace else if you're familiar with the san fernando valley um and i like that you know it was always a 30 40 minute drive to work even when i lived in uh, central california from up at bass lake it was a 50 minute drive each way uh to fresno to work um but i didn't mind that you know but I don't, um, I don't understand sometimes the, the things that they do here. Mm -mm -mm, let me see. I think I, I don't think there's anybody asking any questions. No, but yeah, probably. I think that, um, I think Cabo's coming back in December. Um, I was thinking probably pretty close to the same thing. Um. Uh, Hey, Justin, I just saw you there. How you doing? Glad you could make it. Um, see, I don't want to get too far behind because they're lazy and very cheap. <laughs> yeah, I, but, you know, you would think, I don't know. I mean, I would imagine in the long run, you'd probably save money if you really thought about it, right? I don't know. What, what? <laughs> I don't know, but it, I just, it's hard for my uncle, you know, because he knows, and especially like when I went there, well, the pipes broke. What the hell? How'd the pipe get broke? And then I started saying, why is this shit all above ground? <laughs> I thought we were going to put it below, below grade. Um, of course, they just look at me because they don't understand the flipping thing I'm saying, and, and I'm a hypocrite, and I've been here almost six years. I should know more than three words in Thai. Uh, I'm kind of embarrassed that I can't, but I just, I don't know if I'm too old or, or what the case may be. And the language isn't, uh, something that I pick up very easily with the different 
pitches and the way you say a word and how one uh, can mean 10 different things, you know, depending on how you, uh, how you do it. it. I'm afraid of saying something to somebody and, you know, having to defend myself because I just told them to go get screwed or something. You know, I, I don't know. What did what did Jay say? Name all of your meetups are epic because of high demand. You're now required to have a meetup every Yeah, I don't know, a couple times a year I think it would be fun. Like I said, it's almost like a, a vacation for me. I mean I got four days, man. I don't get that. I was by the ocean. I didn't get to swim in it, but Big Night Dave Tommy, I'm planning on a party at Sexy Bar New Year's Eve. No Ricky Drama. I don't care about Ricky Drama anymore. I told my wife. I said, you know what? Uh, for the only time in my life, I let somebody tell me, my wife, okay, that, uh, um, you know, I don't want you to have to leave the country and do this. You know what? If somebody wants to back me into a corner, hey, by all means, back me into a corner. Anybody wants a piece of me? I don't have very many pieces left, but I got a couple of good ones left, I think, in me. And uh, everybody can find my address. Seems like everybody's kind of been leaving uh, troll-wise. Uh, leaving leaving me alone, so which is cool. But uh, I will be there. New Year's, I will tell my wife now. <laughs> I won't let her in on any other because it was like a stupid thing because she caught me on the on the phone with a friend and and uh, talking in the in the valley and, and here both ends right, not with these on, you know, and uh, saying, "No, Dave, you know, if you go there, you're not going to be able to control yourself. That guy's going to say something stupid, and you're gonna you're gonna pop him." You know, and, uh, now for maybe I said I can control myself. Of course, this friend knew me very well. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it was Wiener. Yeah, did we hear anything more about that? <laughs> somebody sent me a message saying somebody was uh, another one of the 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 people anyway were roasting uh, him, I, and I don't know that what because I got by by drama. I got accused of being in that Jeff Lepard's crime family. I was like the underboss, and I never met the guy. The first time I never watched him at that point, and uh, I didn't even know what he was all about. Uh, but uh, somebody was giving him uh, quite a bunch of shit about, which didn't make sense to me, to tell you the truth. Uh, my wiener is probably the most important part of my body. Okay, um, it. Uh, it deserves, you know, respect, <laughs> reserve, everything. Now, why would you leave this country? I still don't know that. I asked him because I saw the live stream and I asked him, you know, why are you leaving? I, I spent three months. I couldn't have got better care anywhere in the world. And you're going to take a, a chance on getting on a plane. And, and they had a bunch of different things like, a, which I don't know that much about because I never had any kind of trauma down there. <laughs> but he coughed. <laughs> When he was on there, and and the person that was doing this, because I did watch part of it, and uh, was saying, if you ever had any kind of a damage down there, a hernia or something, just just about kill you. You'd need uh, morphine just to take that pain. And he never even changed a facial expression. So don't know if it's as bad as one. I don't know the guy at all. I don't know if he, that's the way he survives, the money that he gets from doing his YouTube channel, teach their own. Uh, but uh, he made it kind of curious. He was just in like, I don't care type. Everything's cool. Everything's good. Yeah. Everything's good. Yeah. And I'm going, man, you're talking about getting hopping on a plane and traveling for 18, 20 hours to Canada, uh, which I, I, I is one of those things like, can you please, please work on this and not tell me that you'll get to it in three weeks or two years? I don't know. I don't know how. A lot of that crap works. But I know that, that Lewis knows him, and I think Tommy knows him too. So maybe you guys can enlighten me a little bit. Roasting is a good thing. Over a pit is, if you like barbecue. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't know why they do it. Hey, how are you? Glad you could make it. If you guys aren't subscribed, uh, please subscribe. Um, yeah, I hope you can. And and that's what I'm trying to plan. Like the next one, Randy, I'll try to probably plan around you. And uh I'd like to say I'd like Daz to be there. Um maybe some other people, but we'll we'll definitely put it together. It'll probably be twice a year, I think is plenty. Um uh, but 
if I missed something, let me know. But I, I really don't know. Hey, Craig, how you doing? Hey, <laughs> in the chat morning, I was saying hello to everybody. Um, but I don't. Uh, Ricky John is a paper tiger. His uh, his bark is crazy, but in person, he's yeah. That's what uh, that's what I kind of understand. But he actually had uh, um, people. I don't I don't understand. I, and I still don't understand YouTube. Mostly people they they don't know, um, they don't know me from Adam. They don't they don't know anything about me. Especially back in the times when he was uh, um, hitting me hard or, or whatever. But he actually threatened with bodily, you know, a couple of people had. And, and I'm just thinking to myself because I don't know nothing about YouTube. I'm going these people they don't you don't even know me. You know, in, in my life and from what I come from, there's consequences for every freaking thing you do. And for some reason, YouTube doesn't work that way. Well, we can sit in our basement with, with you know, at 60 years old uh, in my jockey shorts and just tear the living shit out of people with no consequences. Well, not to me. I mean, you threaten me. Uh, that that's not, a, that's not a good thing. But I guess it's, I don't know. So now it's just my wife says they're barking dogs, let them go. And she's right. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. But <laughs> but the other guy, I don't know. He's I've ne never watched him. Uh, the first time that I, wa I watched him one time after I got accused of being some kind of crime family. Uh, it intrigued me. What, what, what the hell is a crime family? And um, I watched him, and it just seemed like a, I don't know, a normal guy out chasing women, right? I mean, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Maybe you guys can enlighten me. I don't know. Watch, yeah, you only watched him a few times. I don't, I don't know, but like I said, he it seemed weird. He was like nonchalant about having a, a you know, a wiener the, the same same color as that cup. I'd be a little nervous, you know. Uh, let's see. Oh, I don't know what that is. Sorry. <laughs> Let's see. Maybe you did not have it quite right. Underboss. Oh, is that what I was? Underboss. <laughs> That's right. Was underboss. Another golden underboss couple. Yeah. Okay. You're right. Yeah. But I didn't even know, you know, what it was. But I, I don't know. I never got quite that deal. Uh, I mean, it's YouTube. We're here to have a good time, right? And uh, that's where I want to keep it. So I'm going to keep my mouth shut uh, uh, most of the time. I don't like, you know, I like to, if I'm getting barked at, I want, I want to bark back a little bit. Uh, but uh, yeah, I love that. Yeah, and a couple of people have done that, uh, have said that to me. And it's a good way to think of it. They're, they're nothings, you know, nobodies. And, uh, and, and, but I, 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 I still feel weird. You know, like I had said before, if somebody wants to back me into a corner, I'm going to be the first one that's going to go. And and I and I did watch uh, Alex's deal where he did the deal on that MMA, and, and Alex has the right attitude. The men's a a, a very stand up dude. Um, uh, I wouldn't want to have to go any any kind of rounds with him. And uh, you know it it he, he's like say you you need to diffuse. And and I had commented on his thing. You need to diffuse the situation. And I would. I mean, but you can only be a you can only back an animal into a corner so, you know, so deep, right? But I would be the first one to go, you know what? Let, let me buy you a beer. Why don't we sit down and have a good time? You know, we're here. We're retired. You know, I would do that two times. On the third time, I probably would have to light somebody up. I would never do it, uh, put it this way. I, I would never do it, I don't think, to a Thai person, uh, which is weird, right? I mean, it's kind of prejudice, am I? Uh, I will only. Uh, light up a, you know, a foreigner. Um, but because in my mind, like I said before, it's still there, even though I'm trying, my glasses are driving me nuts. Um, if I even have the slightest possibility of getting kicked out of Thailand, my whole life is here. I don't have crap left in the States. You know, I've always got a place to go and I live out my life. But my, what without my wife, without the, the my Thai family, without any of that? Uh, it, 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 you know, it aggravates me that someone would put me in that kind of position, but with a Thai person, I would think it would almost be a given. Um, it's always going to be the foreigners fault. Look at all these idiots out there now that are, uh, 
doing stuff. When they have no brains, you're going to hit and attack a policeman. And, and I think he took a, took his gun. I mean, what are you, stupid? You know, kick a Thai person? You know, put your hands on a Thai person? For what? I mean, you'd have to really, really, really back me and threaten me. And, you know, I, but I would still, I think, bite my bite my tongue uh, if it was four or two times, two, two chances. Uh, but uh, uh, Thai people, I guess they get uh, carte blanche. Uh, because like I said in the beginning of every one of my videos and stuff, I, I, I believe it's a privilege and an honor to be able to live here, that I get to live here, that I get to experience everything that I've experienced since I've been here in Thailand. And, and hopefully it'll never do that. And I, I think that most of the time I, I, someone would run into that, whether it be with a foreigner or a uh, Thai person, not so much from YouTube. I mean, could it happen? Yeah, but people have threatened me and I've told them to come on down and here's my address and here's a pin drop and, and you know, and no one ever showed up. Uh, but uh, I think it's more on the single guy mongering, that word mongering, I just learned that since I've been in Thailand. Um, you know, running up and down the soys and stuff like that. They're going to be in, in they're going to see more intoxicated foreigners, intoxicated Thai people, uh, and, and have more of a chance at three, four o'clock in the morning being intoxicated themselves. Uh, could, you know, shit, shit could happen, right? Shit happens. Uh, but so I don't think I'm going to get encounter, uh, any of that here in Saran. <laughs> I don't even do it when I go. I still haven't went down, uh, any kind of a walking street yet. Uh, Randy Davis, <laughs> it doesn't scare anybody anyway. Half of it's gone now, too. Yep. <laughs> but I like it better, like, especially now. Um, it's a little bit hotter out. Uh, I always wore it long, but that's when I was riding all the time. And but it wasn't for anything uh, from cutting it or anything. It was just being lazy and not wanting to screw with it and living the life um, that you want to live. You know, you don't. Uh, um, that was the biggest thing about being being on a bike was he, it was more like I, I related more to hippies than I did to uh, to regular citizens. You know, I. I just uh, wanted to do what I wanted to do. I wasn't hurting anybody. wasn't doing anything. If I wanted to pull off on the side of the road and sleep on the side of the road, why couldn't I? Why did I have to get, you know, woken up in the middle of the night with a flashlight and, you know, get into confrontation, end up in jail? And, you know, I mean, it was it was all. I, got, I think that lifestyle is it for me now? Pro no. Uh, uh, it was it for years? Yeah, I really, uh, I really enjoyed the freedom. Of doing what I wanted to do. <laughs> yeah, the reindeer game, for sure. Uh, let's see. Moon tells me what is wrong with all these old friends arguing on the internet. <laughs> but yeah, it's insane. And because everything is so, my blood pressure is really, really low, you know, now. <laughs> I don't need half the medication or probably don't need any of the medication that I'm taking for that. Um, and, and, and it is, it's weird. And, and are they all just stupid? I mean, like I said, I, I have people going crazy on me saying, you know, I'm never going to give a Thai lady uh, any kind of money. You know, she wants to go with me. She go with me. Are you stupid? I mean, do you understand that that is their, um, their, their culture? They were raised, the women were raised to go out and make money and take care of mom and dad, which is freaking awesome. You know, not let's shove them in a home and we'll go see them once a month, you know. But in order to do that, they got to send that 10,000, whatever that bot is. And you want to come in and swoop up and have a good time and, and uh, you know, have, have a, you know, do what you want to do and travel and all that. They're responsible for that 10. If you take them away from that, you are. Now, if you can't understand that, you're just stupid, you know. So, and I've said it more than one time: don't come to Thailand, you know. Go someplace else. Go to France or Germany or, you know, go to another country, and, and where where it isn't part of the culture. And you can't understand that because I hate stupid people anyway. Um, it, it really agitates me when someone is stupid. Hey, Mitch, how you doing, brother? Hey, John, how are you? 
Poe on the go. If you guys aren't subscribed, please subscribe. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, what is what is what does she say about these? The the, the Farang are, are idiots, right? And they make us look bad. I have noticed, not big, not a big thing, but a little bit of difference since these people have won. Because it's all over. I mean, anything, anytime something comes up with a Farang hitting a Thai person, getting in a fight with a Thai person, uh, attacking lady boy on lady boy or whatever the hell happened from the Philippines. Every Thai person in this country knows from Facebook or wherever they're on. My wife knows everything that happens, usually ahead of time because she's kind of linked in with the, uh, with the government. So she'll get a lot of the info uh, before anybody else does. But it's just like, are, are, are these people stupid? They have to be. You know, if you don't have the mentality to know, I need to keep my hands off and my, and my, you know, myself under control if I'm going to go out. And if you're a drinker, um, then you need to stop drinking. If you can't control yourself and you're going to go out and get drunk and cause problems, uh, then you need to stop drinking or leave the country. And, and that's what I think they should do. Kick them out of the country, blacklist them, sign them off, buy, see you in 10 years, be changed in 10 years. Come on back, we'll let you in for another try. Otherwise, kick them out. Man. Uh, there's no reason for them to be here. Um, <laughs> Thailand is, yeah, it's a horrible, horrible place, right, Jay? That's what I tried to say before, but no one listens to me. <laughs> How many strokes are you eating coffee? <laughs> yeah, I know. I am kind of on a roll this morning, aren't I? Love it. Let me get, I guess I could change the subject. Uh, the pizza, did you see the thumbnail? Um, I still have, that was in my, <laughs> that was in my, uh, my convection oven. Um, I still haven't fired it up. I've got it still right behind me. Um, I still, I've got to get the tank filled. I've got to buy the regulator. I still haven't done any of that. I've got plenty of mozzarella, uh, plenty of, I, I did eat the, that was the last pepperoni I had that I put on that pizza, but I don't, I don't need that. Um, but this thing's going to go with me. So. I'll probably be firing that up, but I think I did buy, I told you guys I bought a rotisserie deal that I'm going to adapt. That runs off a D battery to the bottom of it, four revolutions uh, per minute, which should be just about perfect because I'm just that lazy that I can't turn that freaking knot. Uh, I also did try a prefab 10 inch. That one, that is a, uh, a tent. No, is that one not a pizza? Anyway, the ones that my wife put up on Facebook, is it was a prefabbed uh, um, pizza dough, uh, real, real thin. And I, I I wanted to try them. I only bought, what did I buy, five or something? They're, they're like, I don't know, 20 bought a piece or something. And as you buy more, uh, they go in the freezer. Uh, they're cheaper and cheaper, obviously. But uh, they're perfect for Thai people. Um, they like thin crust. Um, I could get, especially with this oven, and I'll know once I cook the first one, I could probably cook it. I'm probably throttle it back a little bit because um, it's not going to be more. Well, I guess maybe it would be like a Neapolitan. Anyway, five minutes each. You know, I could cook uh, if I have six, eight, 10, 12 Thai people over here from they want to have a pool party. My mother in law, they all love the pizza. You know, give them plenty of ketchup and uh, pineapple. And the one that she has on there is pineapple, shrimp, um, mushroom. And I think that was it. Uh, but they like that. They like fake crab and that kind of stuff. I can make, instead of like that nightmare that I went through with trying to do it with coal uh, on that pellet stove, um, this one I would probably be able to cook um, maybe at least less than an hour I could cook 10, you know, or so. Every five minutes, what would that be? Six, 12 pizzas? Anyway. Uh, and I would be done. It wouldn't take up my whole day. They'd be in heaven. My in-laws would be in heaven and, uh, it would be, uh, it would be an easy thing to do. And I bought them right off of Lasada. They shipped them to me. I bought my mozzarella in a big block off of Lasada. Um, I buy a lot of crap off there. Let's see. Did I miss, if I miss something guys, uh, <laughs> what is long? Douglas when agreed. I think that many, Come party mentally and showing up respect. Yeah, I, I don't know why, why they're like that though. I mean, I, like I said, man, 
ever since the day I've been here, man, I'm just every day going, man, I'm glad I'm not back in the U.S. I, this is this is me right now. Um, let's see, Robert, my question. Did you send the shirt with Bobby? No, I haven't got a hold of Bobby yet. Um, let's see. I'm just doing good. Alex Bam Bam, Miley have an awesome New York pizza on their live stream. Really? I'll have to see. I like I like that style of pizza. Um, but uh, you know, the stuff takes a little bit longer on that on that thinner dough and stuff like that. And like I said, with with these, it's just you know, if I had friends over, you know, Bobby, Jai, uh, Andrew, Quan, anybody that came over, six, eight people, ten people tops, Americans or foreigners. Uh, I would definitely make the dough, make it the day before, let it ferment, you know, get a good deal on it. And it's still now with the, I don't know, Logan, Logan's still here. <laughs> He's saying, hey, Mitch, how long does it take you to cook one of those pizzas? I'm going to say three to four minutes. Um, so it's still under five minutes, even if you throttle something back. And uh, so it, it, it make it a lot easier. So, you know, I don't know, you got 10 people, you cook five pies or something or, Whatever it takes you in a half hour, and I could still because I don't want to. I want to talk to people, and you know, let's go in the pool, let's do whatever. But uh, uh, I, I got to get it. I got to get it going. I did that to change the subject, and now I'm rambling about seventy five seconds. Okay, because they said ninety seconds on uh, on um, this thing. Because I said, it, how how hot is you? Can you get that thing? Can you get it nine hundred degrees? I imagine if you can get that stone at 700 uh, Fahrenheit, um, I would imagine probably not 75, maybe 90 seconds, probably close. But I do have to do that. It would give me something to do. But I, I just, like I said, up until today, you can tell I took a nice deep breath. Um, I, I, I haven't really felt all that great. Today I feel pretty good. Um, I, I need to get in better shape. I have dropped a little bit of weight. It sure would go a lot quicker if I could get my ass into the uh, into the gym. Gym. It's really weird because when I'm in a good air conditioned place, it doesn't have to be cold, cold like it used to when I first got here. Uh, you know, seven, uh, seventy degree, um, twenty Celsius. Uh, you know, something like that. Now, twenty five. You know, twenty four, twenty five Celsius is fine. Um, so. But when I go and I step out and now we're getting into the hot part of the year, that muggy, 90% humidity, 100 degree temperature, it just seems like, like I said, it freaks me out, mainly in my brain, man. It just, you know, uh, but it, it makes me kind of freak out. But I got to get, go I got to go back. I've already made that decision. I just don't know when. I need to be soon because I've already made it up to myself. I'm not going to do anything with my knees unless I can lose uh, 20 kilo. Um, by September, um, and uh, and then I'll get one done. Go see. Definitely seven hundred. That's usually what I do. It takes about the time to make the next pizza. To, yeah, cool. Yeah, I, I think it's gonna be cool. I, I gotta show it to you. Like mine's small. I don't know. Like I said, that the round spinning disc. It's a round uh, stone. Is only twelve inches, and a ten inch pie is actually kind of perfect. Um, and I, I got to weigh the dough and see what, you know, what the dough is. And once I get it done, and that's going to be the oven of, uh, choice because I'm going to, I'll take it out here, but when I go camping, it, it'll say, can you guys see it? Let me see. It's kind of, uh, you see it right there. That's the oven. It's got it. It's on, it's on, uh, there's three, I think it's three legs, three legs and, uh, that cover. I bought the cover separately. I think it goes to an Oni or whatever the hell those other ones are. But uh, it, uh, it it'll stay here, and then for parties and whatever we're doing. But when I go, I'll use it, and I'm gonna get, I'm gonna buy some cast iron stuff from Lasada, and uh, and I'm gonna cook um, steaks in there, potatoes, uh, vegetables, uh, everything that I can would use an oven for. Even maybe some bread, low because the opening's only this big. So I could cook little bread, maybe hamburger buns, uh, you know, stuff like that. So I want to uh, 
I want to do that. So it'll be my, it'll go with me whenever I go on campus. All right, what did I miss? Uh, we love Tampa. It was 87, landed in Detroit, 19. Yeah, boy. Yeah, it. Um, I, I'm not big on the cold weather. The hot weather has always been, um, it was always what I went to. I mean, I lived in the San Fernando Valley. Uh, we partied at Lake Havasu and it was 130, you know. Uh, I mean, uh, it's always been hot. And they always say, well, it's a dry heat. It's freaking hot, man. I've been in Phoenix and it's a dry heat too at 110 and feels like you're walking into a block wall. Um, but um, I've always favored that because I I, I always like it cold, you know, especially to sleep. Uh, but uh, here it, I have changed. Like I said, normally uh, 70, you know, uh, 20, 20 degrees Celsius. I don't know what that is. Somebody can tell me. But right around there when I first got here, that had to be the room I was in, that, maybe even a fan blowing on me. Now you give me a little bit of a fan, 25, 26 Celsius. And even outside, my wife had said, you're not, you're a Thai man. She told me the other day because we went to, we took the kids over to uh, the train thing, Oshis or whatever it is, uh, the the place that's usually in the Robinsons. And um, just colder and shit in there. And I, and I, I said, your father's got to be dying. My father-in-law, had, you know, at 85, he's starting to shiver a little bit. And my wife and the kids and everybody. And I was. And that's what she told me I was a Thai man. But uh, I said, maybe they do that because they don't want somebody sitting there for two, two, that whole two hours or whatever you can stay and eat. Maybe it helps get them the hell out of there, um, which could be. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, yeah, I think I got with my knees, it's been, it's been, it's a little rough, you know, it, it, um, pain level. I've always had a high threshold for pain anyway. So, uh, uh, but that bone on bone that it's been for the past 15 years, they wanted to replace my knees 15 years ago, over 15 years, maybe even closer to 20. Um, and I, I just didn't want to do it. I mean, I had two, you know, three, four surgeries on my knees. One of them, the last one was a ACL on my left knee. And that was a nightmare. The guy in the middle of the surgery, the doctor had decided that he, uh, he cut the freaking cadaver, uh, um, you know, ACL too short. So in the middle of the surgery, he had to go and cut another one, which means that my leg was tied off for 30 minutes longer than it should have been. And, uh, when I woke up and I'm going, something ain't right, man, this, thing hurts like a bitch and uh, oh it'll be okay they didn't tell me that of course <laughs> but anyway i'll tell that's a story i'll tell another time uh, but anyway i need to at least get there no no uh yeah i can just sit on the bike when i was doing there i did an hour on the bike with no 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 nothing just wide freewheeling um and uh and then did a light workout you know no heavy weights but uh, a light workout. I had a trainer kid there. He was a uh, 21 real stout kid. He ended up winning. Uh, he went, uh, we all gave him some money and he entered a uh, deal in uh, Bangkok and he won his division. And um, so I'll go back there, talk to them and get back in, but I got to get back in that way. I mean, if I'm on the bike and I'm just doing cardio that way and stuff, I don't have to worry about, cause I always worry about like Bobby and Jai, they would love for me to get up in the morning and go over there and go on walks with them around the reservoir and stuff. And my problem is, is that got to, sometimes I'm with my knees and my pain level. Um, I can walk uh, for an hour uh, and, and sometimes I can walk for three minutes, you know, so I, I don't want to get out there and go, sorry, I got to stop. And, you know, God, I don't want to, I don't want to mess with their regimen, you know, so I think I'll get going back there. I'll start out seven, probably five days a week and uh, get through that that burn, get that acid out of the what little muscle I got left. And uh, once I beat that, probably go three days a week. Not to see. Uh, let's see. Dave, uh, wake up before the sun comes up each morning. Yeah, that. that <laughs> I just saw that. Uh, 
I, that's there. You heard why. Um, more than likely, uh, that if I got to the point where I knew that for sure I could go and at least last their little, you know, if they go around three times, I could still only go once and then wait and, you know, drink some water and, and do it. So I, I'll do something. They are knockoffs. Yeah. The, the cover fit perfect. So. <laughs> yeah, more than enough. I would think so. I was always trying to teach mine that that is that is twelve. You you got the wrong you got the wrong rulers. <laughs> oh, let's see. No, but you know, I I really I, it was good food. I I wish that you know I didn't. That's what I think got me, man. I went there and I junked food the crap out of me. Okay, while I was there, I ate Burger King on the way. I ate McDonald's. All right, Mexican food that night. Then we had the breakfast in the morning there with bacon and everything else in there. I ate McDonald's again. I ate Subway. And then on the way home, I ate McDonald's. And uh, um, I, I think I just oversalted myself. And I, it took me up until just a couple of days ago to, to get over the what I did to myself for that uh, that that four or five days I was gone. So I've got to, uh, I got to hold myself back. You know, you want to, you know, go have McDonald's or have one of them the time you're there three days and that's it. It's just hard for me to look at me to, to stop eating. Left Tokyo 33, walked to the airport in BKK. And hit, I mean, yeah, yeah, that'll do it. First time I, see, it was, it was different for me because, like I said, before, excuse me, I, I spent eight months in uh, Costa Rica and it's on the other side of the world, but it's at the, almost at the exact, I have 12, 12 hours of sun, you know, at 12 dark, you know, they're that close to the equator. Um, they have a rainy season. They have, uh, they're, they're right around a hundred degrees, 80% humidity, um, almost exactly the same climate. And so I had, I had dealt with it in 2015. So I, I kind of knew what, what it was going to be like, but it is, it's still, even though I knew it, it'd been a while since I'd been to Costa Rica uh, in 15 and I didn't come till 18. It still was like walking into a brick wall for sure. But I, like I said, it, it, you do acclimate. I didn't think I, I was going to be able to, but uh, especially with my size, uh, I thought I would, uh, maybe if I lost, you know, 40, 50 kilo, it, it would uh, be all right. But. We'll see. But I, I want to lose the 20 regardless. Then I'll make another decision on my knees. I'm, I just kind of know me. You know, if, I, if, I'm put in, if I'm in decent shape, I, I'll, I'll pull the pin and go ahead and do it. But I know if I'm not, and I'm not going to want to do their, you know, their program, and they're not going to want to give me the drugs to get me out of pain to do it. So I got a bunch of issues in my own brain. Who was the famous what businessman that said just do it? <laughs> yeah, I, I I have been now, Douglas. I'm back in. The pool's been um, kind of cold, you know. Here in Serene, we were getting those twelve, thirteen degrees, you know, in the morning, my time of year, uh, up until you know, probably three weeks ago, uh, and now it's starting to warm up. So I, I did. I got I got in the pool. Was it yesterday or the day before? And um, my mother in law had friends over. Uh, yesterday afternoon and they were all in the pool but i, I used to go even in costa rica uh, i had a overlooking had an awesome pad uh, and uh, i would walk in the pool and do uh, exercises in there hour and a half a day uh, and i felt pretty good i was in pretty good shape in costa rica how's the weather in tyler around christmas um <laughs> you're not gonna see any snow here in thailand um but uh yeah that's my time of year. Um uh, I want to say from October, November, December, January and February. Uh that's my time. I you get up and and if you were riding when the sun's coming up on a bike or whatever, uh a little hoodie would be awesome. Uh I only I've only put it on one time was the last time we went to Kochang and uh 
Linton and I had bought it for me four years ago, and I'd never wore it. So uh, that time of year, early in the morning, five o'clock is when we were uh, meeting up at a coffee shop and headed towards Kochang. And uh, the weather's nice then. If, if that would be, if I was telling you one would be a time to come, that's the high season, you know, um, that's when people come. So I don't know when, are you still, I know you met up with Robert, right? And, and I, that's what else I got to do. I got to, I got to get Robert's shirt. I got to get a hold of Bobby. <laughs> I, I, maybe I'll go to lunch with them, those guys this week. Andrew, you still listening? Um, and uh, find out what I'm doing. I got to get the addresses for Jake, uh, for Logan and Jamie, and for uh, Rob, and for, I think, Ralph. Ralph just sent me his, so I've got that. Um, Randy, can you bring some? That's what my wife, my wife, the only reason... He wants to see where I grew up and, and what, what it was like and meet some of the important people in uh, in my family that she had dealt with when I was sick, you know, the, the, the people that really helped her out. And she wants to meet my family. She would have loved to have met my mother. Uh, that's just not an option now. But the other thing, part of that was she wants to see snow. So, uh, there's sometimes a bit of fruit. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. In December and January, up in the mountains, I guess. I, I'm up towards where Douglas is and stuff like that. That's where I'm going to probably do. Uh, I'd like to do some camping when it's cold. You know, uh, I've got a heater in that trailer. I haven't fired it up. It's a diesel heater, J- Chinese diesel heater. I don't even know if it works, but um, I like the cold weather. You know, if I can keep warm. Uh, um. The CEO having brain freeze. What am I? What did I miss? What are you guys talking about? Uh, I haven't been to Mickey D's in years. Too much good Thai food. That's true. I every once in a while, like I said, I hadn't had a J in. Um, if I, it's a it's an hour drive to Burry Rum to the McDonald's for me. Uh, it's a four hour drive if you want to go to Burger King uh, to find one. Um, so I wish they had a subway, uh, and I wouldn't need it every day, but that subway that they made me, because usually subways like on the lower end, uh, like Jersey Mike's and stuff, I'd love to have once every six months or something. But uh, that one that they made for me there, man, they made it really, they did a good job. I was totally done Jones and on, God, I wish I had a sub sandwich, you know. It was pretty good. So if they had that and they had, place that I could get. McDonald's I like, you know. Um, it doesn't have to be a big thing. I like just a regular cheeseburger. I like the taste of it. Or a Big Mac. And uh, But they're, they're loaded full of sodium. Man. And just kick my ass. Um, no idea. <laughs> Dave's, <laughs> Dave's reindeer will be very happy to bring you some snow. Yeah, no shit, right? Uh, what? No snow in Thailand? <laughs> Crystal meth. That's true. <laughs> uh, saying hello. Hello, everyone. Hey, Joe. How you doing, brother? Hope you're well. Oh, I answered all my, if you didn't get, uh, some of the stuff was like <laughs> five weeks ago. <laughs> so I answered them all. I, I, the power goes off here at four o'clock in the morning. And the light comes on in the room because it's on some kind of a reset. Beep, 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 beep. It's it's a fan and a light and everything. So now the light's blaring in the bedroom. I'm already half awake anyway. And uh, the pool starts up because I've got a regular sand filter, but it's made for one of the, what's the above ground pool name? The real, the common one. Uh, I bought it because it already had everything there. It had the motor. It was all plumbed in. And then I just had to redo some of the plumbing and made it. It's a little one. It's perfect for this size pool. And But what it is, the electronic timer and everything on it, how you set it, you can set it from one hour to I think like nine or ten hours of it to run. Uh, and and when you press it, it starts and then it starts counting down your, I set mine for four hours. And that's probably an overkill. And But what it does is, like if I want to change the time, 
I just go ahead and start it at, let's say I have it set for at two o'clock. I start it for the first time. It'll run for four hours and shut off. Then tomorrow it will come on at two o'clock and run for four. If I want to reset it, like let's say it's 11 o'clock, we want to go in the pool and I would like to have it running while we're in there. I'll just go over and push one button and it'll start up. And now it'll run from 11 for four hours. Well, the things, when the power goes off, it, for some reason, the way that it's wired or whatever it is, it, the pool pump started at four o'clock in the morning. It'll probably just shut off, right? Or shut off at eight o'clock. Um, so now I have to reset it. So I'll reset it after I get done here. But, uh, it, uh, but it's a good little, a good little deal, you know, the, the, uh, the, the pump. It, and it was reasonable. I think it was 10,000 baht, 300 bucks or something for everything. I just had to buy sand and put it in it and inch and a half pipe and I was done. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's let's uh, do it. I don't know where you want to go. You want to go to the, am I going to say it right? Triple A fantasy or is it triple F? I can't ever remember. <laughs> but yeah, because I want to talk to him and first see if he even wants to do it. I, I don't want to put him into anything, but I think I want him to take one for maybe Joe. Uh, one for um, uh, Robert Mack, one for Randy, and I think there was one other person. Because I think he, he wouldn't have to mail anything with that. He could just give uh, Robert Mack's and and uh, Randy's to Robert Mack. And, or maybe even Bobby might meet up with you, Randy, too. So that would be easy. So I think there might be one other one. But, yeah, if you want to set up one, that's fine with me. I got the kids here, but my wife's gone. so. Any day is uh, any day except for today is fine is fine with me. Let's see if I miss something, guys. Put it. Let's go ahead and put it back up. Uh, tell you guys when I got home this morning, I had to go through the drug checks at the airport. Sniffer dogs because I'd been to India. Ah, okay. They, somebody just called. They want to <laughs> build one in Sarin. Uh, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how it would go here. We just don't have that big of, uh, um, we're not a big draw. We have the elephants here. That's it. But uh, they don't have much over in Buriram either, but they have where the McDonald's and the KFC and another one or something, no Burger King, uh, there is right at the, uh, right by the racetrack and the soccer field and all that, the big, big one where they have the uh, big events. Um, I'd still like to get over and watch those. They're pretty interesting. No, let's see. I, didn't, I know I said hello to you, brother. But, uh, are you are you moved or not yet? Because that's when would be my plan. Because you're probably not going to get to Sarin, but I figure I could probably get to uh, Chiang Mai, Chiang Rai, because I, I want to see them. I haven't, I haven't been there yet. Um, note to self, what? Pack extra suitcase. With snow, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm sure they'd appreciate that. Um, kitty pool in the backyard will be a good start. Yeah, you know, I I love this pool; it's perfect, absolutely perfect. And the temperature right now, it's a little bit cold when you get in, but then it kind of mellows out. But as we get into the hot weather and stuff, it's it's like any of the hotel pools or whatever. It's more of a warm bath, but it's pretty good. I I, I really like it. I enjoy it. There's a bar in Patea and has snow every Christmas. Do they? Fake snow. <laughs> My wife really is looking forward to that, and I'm I'm looking forward to bringing her up there. I still haven't. I still don't know. Ah, deep sigh. I, I don't know. I, there's some things that I got to take care of, um, but uh, I, I got to get back to the states. Dave, I am great. A great grandfather as of Wednesday. Very good. Congratulations. I don't, I, I'm sure I am a great grandfather. Uh, could I tell you? No. Um, I was, I was 17. She was 14 when she got pregnant. She was 15 when she had the baby. I seen the baby when the baby was three months old and that was it. Never heard anything. And I've been waiting for the longest time. And I even tried a couple of times to find her. Um, but, uh, so she would be 50 years old, right? I don't know, like 50 years old. And, uh, 
Um, I'm sure if, if uh, my daughter is anything like her mother, um, uh, she definitely uh, has has a few children. So uh, I have, I guess I've been for a while. Uh, but congratulations to you, Joe. And popular above ground please be Doughboy. Yeah, in text, that's it. Uh, yeah, I remember Doughboy. I mean, uh, Randy. Uh, in uh, how do you say it? In text, inner text. Anyway, yeah, definitely. And that little, that little uh, pool pump and sand filter and everything has been awesome. It has been uh, perfect. Robert saying hi to Joe. Tommy J saying congratulations. Jay saying congratulations. <laughs> Everybody saying congratulations. Um, Randy, was it made by Pillsbury? What was that? What was it? What did I miss? I missed something wrong. What was that? Doughboy. Doughboy. Okay, now I get it. <laughs> and Grandpa Joe. Uh, Ron John, see on drug. Uh, Sir Douglas, if Bobby gives me, I can get to Randy or vice versa. Yeah, and I think uh, uh, Bobby's close enough to where I'm sure all three of you guys could probably meet up somewhere. I'm sure Bobby would uh, uh, like to meet Randy. I'm sure Randy uh, would probably like to meet uh, Bobby. So, But, yeah, that's what I kind of figure. Yeah, I found out today that your daughter's having a, when it rains, it pours, right? Randy's, uh, <laughs> you're quite the grandfather. Uh, and a clause I have this year. Uh, everybody saying thank you, thank you. Am I caught? Oh, I'm caught up. Cool. Uh, yeah, and Andy, thanks for letting us know. And he'll be back before you know it. At least I got to meet him this time. I didn't get to meet Robert Mack, which was kind of a bummer. I was kind of, uh, Hoping to do that, but if I get back before he, if I go to the states before he, uh, before he gets back here, I, I could chase him down somewhere, even if he's out in the Midwest. Uh, let's see. Okay, I'm caught up on that. So, congratulations to Joe one more time, and I'm guessing this is working okay. I don't know. You probably answered me, uh, Logan, if you're not asleep, and Jamie. I don't know if you guys are up. Um, they are saying I have seven kids, 19 grad kids, and one great grandkid. Wow. So my mom was, my mom had a lot. Um, me, I, I just have the, with, well, like I said, the one that I met when she was three months old and haven't seen, and, uh, uh she'd be, um, close to 50 years old right now. Um, but, uh, and it kind of bummed me out a little bit, um, Years ago, I, I was, I was always, I was one of those weirdos that was actually hoping for a knock at the door uh, to see. I, and her name was one of the, and I, I'm horrible. It was one of the bewitch characters, Tabitha, Samantha. Uh, I think it was Tabitha, um, but uh, don't know. Maybe she'll see, see this. You never know. I, I don't know, Ron. I gotta, I gotta figure it out. I should, uh, I should go back for see my grandkids and see my, uh, see my kids there and my family there. And I got, got a couple of things that I, I need to take up, take care of. And uh, so we'll see. If I do, it'll probably be June, July, August, somewhere around in there. Uh, I don't. I'm still really with the way that I'm that I breathe and the way that my mind freaks me out. I'm still not too big on. Uh, I can't wait to fly. You know, 26 hours in the air. You know, it's not. I'm, I'm not jumping up and down. Plus, my I think my my legs and the way that I sit and I don't move and just want to get there and uh, you know I'll probably have a blood clot sooner. They're they're like a blood clot waiting to happen. Of course, being on the blood thinners probably helps. Um. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Probably that. Maybe August or something. I gotta, I, I'd like to see my, I gotta go up north and see, see a good buddy of mine and, uh, one buddy in, uh, Phoenix and, uh, family in Temecula and family in the, in the San Fernando Valley. 
and uh, and my kids in Central California. So uh, probably take three weeks, even though I don't really want to be gone for three weeks. Uh, if I'm going to make that flight, I'm not going to just make it for, you know, a couple of days. I'll, I'll go do some traveling. Never have. That's how the, the, this one was. She was, she was 30 years old and had a total hysterectomy. And uh, so she never, she never had any kids. Um, <laughs> yeah, no shit. Like I said, I felt weird the last time, Randy. It was like my mother had passed away. Um, she was a great lady. I think she always thought that she did me an injustice. Uh, uh, and, and she couldn't be further from the truth. She, she did a, a better job than most could do uh, with me. Uh, I'm totally grateful that everything that my mother did uh, for me in my whole life. Uh, but I just felt weird. I stayed with my cousin, Rich. Um, I, I went to visit one person, and that was the guy that I uh, um, was in the air conditioning deal with who, who has passed away, his wife. And we, a Mexican restaurant out by my cousin's girlfriend where I was staying. And that was it the whole time I was there. Otherwise, I was just with my cousin. and. Uh, um, I just felt like my mom passed away. I shouldn't be woohoo, you know, let me go and hit up all my friends and do what I want to do and, you know, and have a good time. And I just, I don't know why uh, I just felt like, you know what, just need to mourn and do it. But next time I definitely, if, if you don't trace me down, I'll, uh, I'll chase you down. Hey, gorgeous. How you doing? Glad you can make it. Um, um Just fire up the sleigh. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I wish. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly, Randy. Uh, you know, I would have liked to, though. I, I did. We had talked about it before anyway. Um, in case you guys don't know, ever since we, me and Randy have met here on uh, YouTube, he was right there on my stomping grounds. I mean, I was all over on motorcycles and uh San Fernando Valley, Simi Valley, Thousand Oaks, and and Randy uh, grew up in Thousand Oaks, so I was over in that area a lot. We probably in different circles, but we probably ran into each other or at least passed by uh, a couple of times in our lives. Ron, Dave, and Mr. Mitch have both met me. Uh, they know that I'm demented. <laughs> uh, is that a bad thing? I don't know. Hey, Verna, how are you? If you guys aren't subscribed, please subscribe. Verna's a, a good one. Everybody saying hi. Take a drink of my water with hardly any ice in it now. It tastes pretty good. Make sure what? <laughs> Parking spot. Or Karen. Who's Karen? I, I, that was another thing I saw. <laughs> you got to you gotta explain that again. I don't remember what I read last time. Got somebody in the parking lot that gave you guys some kind of grief? I think, right? <laughs> Ron thinks he can volley with it. Yeah, I think a little bit would be okay. Everybody saying hello to everybody. You guys are awesome. Twenty people still hanging. Been an hour, almost an hour now. Uh, if they break out and duct tape to secure you in the seat, no worries. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> it. I'd. Um, I have some friends that that I would like to. Uh, that I would like to see. Uh, it, it, getting that age, you know, sixty-seven. I don't know. We don't. We're not guaranteed shit, right? I mean. Uh, it, it, I could, I could die uh, walking from here to the front yard, um, but I'd like to see them, and, I, and I'd like to see my grandkids. And like I say, that's the reason that I try to keep uh, cussing down to a, you know, a minimum and everything on here, because, you know, like I said, twenty, thirty years from now, you know, when I'm dead and gone, forty years, my great, great, you know, whatever grandkids can go. Let's look at crazy grandpa, and see what he was saying on YouTube. They can watch them, you know. Now, hopefully, it'll still be, but I can't see it going anywhere. Uh, Dave, you have to have been there 
to see it. Oh, in Calabasas. Okay. Is that where you guys met up was in Calabasas. That's where my divorce attorney <laughs> that I used twice uh, is at Calabasas. And where uh, my cousin Richie's, I'm trying to think, that area is where my cousin Rich's uh, girlfriend lives. And I went between his house out in Temecula, our Menifee, and, and her house. And I'm trying to think of the name of it. I'll remember it. But close uh, to Calabasas. Um, uh, went, went there. And uh, very nice lady. She, she's a makeup artist for the, uh, for the studios. And I guess quite a good one, too. And they're in Africa right now, unless they're back. They might be back right now. They're on a three-week uh, deal, him and his best friend and their significant others, uh, on like two or three very, very pricey, 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 uh, three different safaris, um, high-dollar air-conditioned yurts and, you know, uh, really, really nice deals. I'm looking forward to talking to him when he comes back. But uh, that, uh, God, I wish I could remember where where she was. I don't remember the name of it, but it was in that area. Calabasas was always kind of, um, in fact, I just saw something on Facebook showing the hanging tree. Was that in Thousand Oaks? No, it's Calabasas, right? It, it, the hanging tree was right across the street from the, the Sagebrush Cantina. Is that, is that right, Randy? Is it, in, is, that was in Calabasas, right? The hanging tree. It was something on Facebook when I, when I was, uh, uh, scrolling around this morning, uh, I think it was Facebook, um, showing the uh, the hanging tree, and, and it said right directly across the street was Sagebrush Cantina. Had a lot of crazy, wild um, times at the cantina. Karen is referral to a lady going off in your. Oh, really? Is that what it is? <laughs> I guess it would be a bad thing to slap that their way. Uh, it was always good to have uh, dancing women around you that could handle that kind of uh, situation. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Okay. Did I catch that? Okay. I didn't know that. Okay. Now I know that. I don't want any Karens going off or anything like this. All right, all right. Uh, Jay, Randy, and I and my wife were dumbfounded with the weird lady. Now, I guess there's a lot of weirdos out there, right? I'm too far away from this microphone. Let me move it. There we go. I like that a little better. Um... Karen is kind of like saying, go, Brent. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I, anytime that there was any kind of a problem like that, there seemed like, like when I was young, there was always uh, um, a gal from, you know, that was riding around with us or whatever that would uh, be more than happy to uh, to handle that situation and sock somebody up, you know. <laughs> say hello to my little friend yeah I, I don't know like i said in my whole life i never laid a hand on a woman um but uh they maybe you guys can relate to it though out of all the guys and stuff that i dealt with in my life and and had altercations with or whatever it was a woman always a woman that had made me the maddest uh than any man could ever make me Karen don't like me. Uh, the Karen hunted Robert Mac down inside McDonald's and screamed at him for fa uh, parking a little bit crooked over the line. She parked right next to him in an empty parking lot. Uh, Karens are never wrong and blame everyone else for their problems. <laughs> I'm glad I don't have to run into any Karens. Do we have any? We don't, we don't have Karens here. Thailand is that only in the uh, the Western world or what? Oh, how did you keep from just busting up laughing, or were you laughing at her? You had to be laughing at her, right? I would think. Uh, I I just I can't see Robert getting upset. He'd have to be laughing. 
I know I would be. Are you serious? <laughs> uh, of course, I, I have gotten upset with people when when I'm parked and I come back and they're parked, you know, where I can I can only open my door, you know, that far. I have uh, lost my temper, to put it mildly, a couple of times with that happening to me. Have you ever had anybody do that to you? And, uh, you know, I'm a big guy. You know, it's not easy for me to go around to the uh, to the passenger side and try climbing across a truck with a center console and shit and get over into the seat. Um, if you don't park that way here. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, she probably did it on purpose. Probably saw him and didn't park it just so she could uh, go in there and uh, and I don't know lose some twisted shit she had inside her. Or what? <laughs> oh, that that's funny. Yeah, that's what I would probably I'd have to say that I could stay away from at least when I was younger because usually at bars and stuff when someone would get pissed off it was. Maybe a gal that you had, you know, been with before and couldn't remember <laughs> her name and she wasn't very receptive to it. Uh, there would always be some friend, friends, girl friends, just friends uh, that wanted to hang out and whatever. And it would, you want me to take care of that? Yeah, would you? <laughs> would you drag her outside and get her away from me, please? Uh I'll just pretend I was deaf. <laughs> there you go. Wait, wrong live stream? What are you supposed to be? <laughs> uh, good night, all. Yeah, it's getting close for me, too. It's been an hour and 30 minutes. But there's like 21 of you guys. You guys are awesome. And I don't really have... I was trying to think what I'm going to do. I'm going to probably wait for the solar man and hopefully him do that thing. And then I'll probably be aggravated if he doesn't show up. But I'm hoping that he shows up. We get that done. Then me and the kids tomorrow morning can get all this stuff out of there, situated, hook the trailer up, pull it out from underneath, clean the solar panels, get it ready to go. And uh, and then we'll probably, uh, it'll be up to them. They can all come together. I can go out there by myself. I might still go out there today. And the only reason that I want to go out there today is because I'll have, excuse me, oh, I'll have the, um, <laughs> sorry, I'll have the kids with me and they can talk to them. Because supposedly in what I read, it's all time, most of it. Uh, they want you to give them at least one day notice before you're coming. And like I said, maybe I want to, it's only an hour and a half from here, uh, look and see uh, where, can I park over here? Can I park over here? And, get a look at it, but it's pretty flat terrain uh, and get close to the water I'd like to be. And uh, if I did that, which I might, I think I told him I was going to take off at maybe 9 or 10, which would have to be 10 now, right? What are we at? Yeah, we're at 10.04 already. Um, then maybe I'll, because today's what, Tuesday? No, today's Monday, my Monday live stream. Um, I might even take off Wednesday and. Uh, and go, and then spend Wednesday night and Thursday night um, by myself, and then the kids, my wife can pick up the kids and and uh, come out on Friday night and uh, spend uh, Friday night, Saturday, and we'll come back on Sunday. I might do that. It'd be um, it'd be fun. I, I think I need to get away for a couple of days. I'm, I'm getting, even though I just got back from Pate, I I've been. Uh, it hasn't been good with the breathing thing, and, and I know it's my own fault, so I got to do it. Let's see. Robbie, how are things in John Tim this morning? <laughs> it was easy. Beautiful today. Grateful I get to be here. Yeah, you just got, now, did you just get back from uh, Pachuap? And by saying that right, Pachuap Curry Khan. I think I'm saying it right. Where uh, I think you met up with Joe and, uh, gift and um and then you guys went you walked up all of them freaking stairs 
did you have some kind of brain damage or <laughs> he just wanted to be out of breath and we're hoping for some type of a mild heart attack or what was the deal? <laughs> I could never have walked up there. So uh, more power to you. Good job. Um, yeah, it is for sure. I love Kitty in a brotherly way. I don't think Joe loves anybody in a brotherly way. Uh, come to lunch with me and Jake. Who are you talking to? You're going to lunch with Jake? I know I saw Jake was at uh, Craig's, right? And uh, I saw some catfish catching going on. And uh, I think I saw Craig up to his waist in the... Uh, in the pond trying to find a uh, a rod that got pulled in. Um, <laughs> that must have been fun, I bet. Uh, Robbie, want to give me shit down. Are you a resident of John TM? I'm looking for a good dentist in that area. He will probably know or he can find out, I'm sure. Robbie can, uh, Randy. I think I just heard Dave say PKK with a Thai accent. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I really like it there. Like I said, if I wasn't, if I, there would have been two areas, even with my wife, I got to bend these, sorry. Um, probably would have been somewhere between John Tiam and Rayong, uh, if I could found found a place there, or it would have been over, uh, not, I don't think not in Pachua, or not in where Joe is, because it's all Pachua, Currycon, um, but up somewhere between Bangkok and there. Uh, Find a, a nice little quieter place. I just love the water, man. Neither one of those places, though, I think are super crystal clear water, though, are they? Um, I would have rather been... Phuket was freaking awesome. <laughs> I mean, I people don't like Phuket. I don't know if it's because of the uh, the money or it is on the expensive side. But, I mean, I, I went out in the morning, watched the sun come up, jump in the water, snorkeled around. I kept my fins and stuff under my uh, seat in the PCX. Uh, it was it was great. But I probably would have been in one of those two areas. I liked it over where uh, where Joe is. At a Bangkok for the dentist, I like to find a local one too. Yeah, there'd probably be someone who might know as uh, Mitch might know. I don't know if he's still listening. Um, Ryan might know. Uh, I would say James, but he's... Uh, He's off on the Americas. Americas. I did send him, uh, he asked in one of his, his last video, and he did answer me too, saying, thanks, Dave. Uh, he was looking for a certain uh, van conversion, and uh, I found some and sent them to him. So uh, I think he's looking to upgrade a little bit. Yes, I sure did, Joe. I've got yours. I had to figure out. I wish I would have known that, that, uh, Jake was, uh, um, I've got to see, because I sent, I sent two 2XLs for Jamie and Logan. And then I sent, I believe, one for Rob, which was a 6XL or a 5XL or something like that. And then I sent one, I think, for, I think I sent it for, um, who did I send it for? Uh, 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 um. God, I gotta do it because I gotta get the I, I gotta get the air ad. Uh, uh, I gotta get the addresses. Um. My mind's gone. Uh, 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 I think I sent it for Ralph. I think I did. So I have to look at the size because I think for for Ralph I sent a large, and I don't know what yours was. Yours was a two XL. So what I might send is one large and one uh, two XL or extra large. I don't know. I gotta I gotta write this stuff down, but I gotta get it done. I said I was gonna do it the other day. Did I? No. I gotta get it done. Um. I I do I I like it here. It, it's just the, every once in a while I need to blow out, um, and I want to see the ocean and be close to the ocean. I always have my whole life. I mean, I grew up in the San Fernando Valley, and that wasn't like a hop, skip, and a jump. But on my bike up over Malibu Canyon, Canaan, um, one of the over the canyons, uh, 
getting out to the beach to Zuma to Malibu. Um, you know, uh, it was under an hour, 45 minutes, maybe I'm thinking. Um, so it was nice. You know, I could always just poop, you know, and I was there. So even in some of the places, if I was just a little bit closer, because like going over, I like Kochang and, and, and that area, right? Brayong, you know, uh, and I think it's five and a half hours, you know, if it was just a little bit closer, <laughs> but I don't think it's ever going to happen. Uh, my dentist is in Bangkok as well, Robbie. Um, they are excellent. Some of the area, see the forms. Yeah, and, and I don't know. Mitch might know too. I don't. Did you get any dental work done, Mitch? Or was it all? Uh, or do you know anybody that knows a dentist? I guess when Randy comes into uh, vacation, he's going to get some work done. A lot of people did that in in because uh, Costa Rica was the same way. They take a three-week vacation, uh, one week to get their dental work done and maybe another week to halfway vacation and recover, and then the third week to fully just, uh, um, you know, vacation. Yeah, there you go. Both both good places. I, I do enjoy it, you know. Um, like I said, it's a little bit hard. I'd like to get back to the gym. Get myself in a little better health. Gonna start doing the the trailer thing, and then uh, I'm gonna be flying out. I'm hoping that my wife's gonna go. Well, I know she's gonna go with me on some of them, but uh, she just doesn't take off that much. I'm not gonna limit myself. If I've got to go to the Philippines by myself, I'll go by myself. If I got to go to Vietnam, I think I can get her to at least blow out for a a one day deal to Cambodia and to. Uh, Lao. In fact, where we went to look at that um, that campground uh, was an hour, and where it sits up on the hill overlooking a little river deal down at the bottom, uh, the other side was Cambodia, or was it Lao? Cambodia. So, uh, you know, that it's close, and so is Lao. Lao's not far either. In fact, when we were over at that Tapanoma, whatever, it's right across the Mekong. So, not the same. Yeah, I know. There is a bunch of them. I don't know. I guess, like, uh, I think it was Jay that was saying, is looking the, uh, uh, looking reviews and stuff and seeing forums, see who, uh, who they suggest and see what name keeps popping up. Yeah, I don't know. Like I said, if I don't lose 20 kilo by September, I'm not going to have it done. I know me, Joe. If I, if I don't lose the weight, and and I'm, I'm in decent shape, and and uh, I'll just slough it off. They'll tell me to do this, and I'll go, ah, screw you. I don't want to do it. <laughs> so then I'll be crippled. So in my mind, I have two choices. One is lose the weight and get in halfway decent shape and have the surgery and recover from the surgery, or stay a fat bastard and, um, and uh, uh, don't have the surgery and at least be able to walk for maybe the next two or three years and then, uh, you know, go on to a wheelchair duty. So I, I know me, but if, if I'm not mindsetted into, into doing it, I won't do it. Is Ron taking off? All right, Ron. I, I think I'm going to go too. It's hour and 45 minutes. Pretty, pretty soon too. people. There's still 21. You guys are awesome. If you guys aren't subscribed, uh, Please uh, think about subscribing. It doesn't cost anything. Uh, and uh, we're trying to uh, meet people. And we, and we have, actually. We Where are we at? Let's see. Uh, 2,510, 60 subscribers in the last 28 days. Uh, views are up. Watch time is up. Uh, everything is uh, is great. So and get to meet the people, and like I said, because I want to, you know, you don't have to. You can have a life and enjoy your. I call it end of days. I don't know if that's a good way to put it or not, but you don't have to. If you lose your significant other, uh, you don't need to sit in your home country and and uh, just wait to die. Uh, you can go out and enjoy yourself. So more people that we get around and get the word out and share and and do all that stuff, uh, we'll keep we'll keep bouncing off these people, and we've. We've hit probably three or four of them um, in the last two or three months. 
Uh, so uh, it's a it's a great life, and I got no complaints. I got no complaints at all. And like I said, it doesn't take uh, you know. Oh, I, I thought you had to have at least five thousand dollars in you know retail each month. No, no, if you're a single guy and you're coming over here. I like that twenty five hundred is is a, a number that sticks in my mind. Uh, Three thousand, I think you're close to. I'm living on top of the world. Uh, can you get down below that? Yeah, but you're you're not going to live quite as well. But you need to come to Thailand and um, and check it out. See what you think. If you're retired, come for like I said, three to six months. I usually have this talk towards the end of uh, end of my uh, live streams. Um, uh, and check, yeah, I, I don't think the bang for the buck, like I said, right now, I think it was, it was 30, 36.4 this morning and it was 36.29 when we started the, uh, live stream, uh, this morning. So if you're going to bring over some money now, it'd probably be, uh, wouldn't be a horrible time to, uh, to bring a chunk of money into, uh, into Thailand. All right. So I will, in case anybody is wondering who did your intro and your outro it looks better than what you could have done now, that would be richard from richard travels thank you richard if you're watching richard's mom um uh, hope everything's going well hope everything's going well for you richard if you uh listen or somebody tells you uh and i'm looking forward to uh you making a trip here eventually and uh, meeting up with you all right so i will go over to my new outro and I will look up into the camera and say, everybody have a great morning, afternoon, or evening, depending on where you're at. And I will catch you on the next one.